The Corpse Whale, also known as The Narwhal, by Keanu and Katie. <laughs> Narwhals reside in cold to downright icy parts of the Arctic, and they are rarely sighted. They spend the long winters in deeper waters beneath ice packs in groups of around 5 to 10. Come summertime, they will migrate to more shallow, warmer waters where they begin to congregate into larger groups. Very rarely, however, are they too far away from any ice. On occasion, they have also been known to reside in estuaries and bays during the summer months. Narwhals create a sort of vacuum and suck up their food, which includes squid, Greenland shrimp, arctic cod, rockfish, and crab. Narwhals only have two vestigial teeth. The male narwhal tusk is thought to play no role in feeding because males and tuskless females consume the same diet. They do their chomping at the ice edge and in the ice-free summer waters. Narwhals endangered. Oil and gas development and climate change pose threats to narwhals. Increased development and means more shipping vessels, creating more opportunities for collisions and more underwater noise that can interfere with communication among the whales. Thousands of years of evolution have prepared an Arctic species like the narwhal for life on and around the sea. Because of climate change, this ice cover has drastically decreased in both extent and thickness at a rate far too quick for a species to adapt. A narwhal relies on sea ice for a place to feed and a place to take refuge. Occasionally, even a place to hide from predators. The tusk. Perhaps the narwhal's most defining characteristic is their large tusk, which really isn't even a tusk at all. In truth, their left canine tooth, it's their left canine tooth that grows as they mature. The large tooth uh, is only present in males and begins to grow during their first year of life. When fully grown, it can be up to ten, 7 to 10 feet in length. Strangely enough, the, tr the tooth's true function is unknown. Some believe it is to reach breathable air beneath the ice, while others are convinced that it is used in a ritual to prove dominance over other narwhals. This ritual is known as tusking, in which males will rub their tusks against each other in a sort of joust. The end.